Today, we're gonna to talk about stock trout fishing mistakes. And in my 30 years of trout fishing, I've learned a few things and made a lot of mistakes on the water. What is up, Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel for another trout fishing tips video. Now, when it comes to stock trout fishing, everybody of all ages loves to go out and chase a few stalker trout from time to time. And when I was four years old, I got my first experience fishing chasing stock trout in the lakes of Central Oregon. Now, whether it's a big lake, a little pond, or a stream, there are so many places around the country to chase stock trout and a lot of states have really good stocking trout programs that allow you as an angler to go chase some trout and have some fun. Now there's going to be days where the fishing is lights out, but there's also going to be days and situations where you're going to make mistakes. So to help prevent those mistakes and help you become a better stock trout fishing angler, let's go through the top 10 stock trout fishing mistakes. Now coming in at the number 10 stock trout fishing mistake is picking the wrong color. And this could be a couple different things. It could be too bright, too natural, a combination of both, picking something that's got too much glitter, if that's ever a thing. And yes, you can make the mistake of picking the wrong color. And really, this comes down to a few conditions that you really need to pay attention to. Now firstly, you gotta really pay attention to the water conditions. Clear water, dirty water, kind of mixed water that's a little bit dirty but a little bit clear in areas, water clarity can play a huge difference in what bait color you pick and what the trout might be able to see and what they might be able to go after. And I've seen it before where you got a lot of people that are picking bright baits and they're just not getting the fish and somebody with a more natural color is getting more bites. Now, the opposite could be true as well. Somebody who's using more natural baits isn't getting hit as much as somebody who's got more bright baits. So situationally, when you look at the water conditions as well as the weather conditions, do you have high sun? Do you have any sun? Is it overcast? Is it cloudy? Do you have a lot of debris in the water? So before you even wet a line and pick your bait color, look around, see what's going on, see what other people are using, if they're having success or not, and then pick a bait, go with it, and see how fast you can catch one. Now mistake number nine is a hilarious one which I have seen way too many times which are people that set the hook way too hard. And what I mean by that is that these are trout. They got some lighter, smaller mouths. These aren't bass. You don't need to set epic hook sets when you're out trout fishing. I've seen guys almost fall on their rear ends. They were literally fishing next to me that had hook sets that were so massive that I thought they were trying to hook a 10 pound bass. And I just like left laughing in my head watching these guys have these massive, massive hook sets or making sure the hook is there and they just rip the hook out or they break off. And I usually just sit there and I'm trying to think to myself, why are you setting the hook so hard on these little stock trout? And if there's bigger stock trout around, that's great, but you don't need these epic, epic hook sets. I don't know where in our culture of angling this thing has become where when you go trout fishing, you have to have huge, giant hooks hook sets, that's not the case. So if you're out there and you're trout fishing, stop setting the hook like it's a bass. Have a nice, easy hook set, maybe a little bit of force, but not a yank and a jerk because that's how you break off and lose a lot of fish. Now coming in at mistake number eight is trolling too slow in the boat. Now, there is such a thing as trolling too fast for stock trout, but there's also a thing of trolling too slow. Now trolling speed, it plays a critical element in success depending on the time of the year. In the winter time, a slower troll is gonna be more mandatory. Now in the summer, you're gonna need a little bit more of a faster troll. And a lot of times I see anglers or guys that are trolling for trout, they have their speeds all wrong. They're going too slow in the summertime when you need to have a little bit more of an aggressive bait, a little bit more speed to allow those aggressive trout, especially stalker trout that have been around a little while, to feed and really go after the bait. 2.5, even up to 3, 3.5 miles an hour. I think 3 is a really good speed, especially in the late spring, summer, and the early fall time when you got warmer weather, warmer conditions, and the fish are out there biting because that'll give you a better opportunity to get those trout. But what happens a lot of times is guys are trolling way way too slow. So guess what? You need to go faster, pick up your speed, and the bites are gonna pick up.
Now mistake number seven has to do with bank fishing or casting from the boat and that is casting to the same spot over and over again. And I see this a lot when especially when it comes to bank fishing anglers. They think oh this is a spot that I've seen fish caught or I've been here the prior week. I'm just going to cast out to the same spot over and over again. And when I see bank anglers and they've been there for a couple hours they're always casting to the same spot and they're not having success. And I'm thinking to myself why? Why are you casting to the same spot? not getting any bites and gonna expect anything different if you cast to the same spot. You know, change up your angle, go a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, maybe a little bit shallower. See if you can go out another 10 feet. Change something up with the way you cast because in situations, there could be a little bit of a drop off. You could have your bait just in a little bit of grass in the wrong spot, maybe three feet away from really where there's fish hanging out. But guys that keep casting to the same spot, I really question and they think you're making a huge mistake of not moving your bait around just a little bit especially in the early part of the day cast shallow cast medium cast a little bit deeper we talk about that in steelhead fishing and salmon fishing from the boat when you're on the river don't cast to the same spot over and over and over again mix it up different angles different distances and you should be able to find trout a lot easier than casting to the same damn spot now mistake number six is not adding scent. And this one does not make sense at all. You wanna add scent to your baits because with trout, sight, scent, and sound are the three S's and they play a critical role in your ability to catch stock trout. And so if you're not adding additional scents from like Procure or Potski or some of those other companies, you can add those to your baits. It's gonna give you a better opportunity to find and catch trout. So add some scent to your bait and get it out there and just make sure you wash all the scent off your damn hands before you put them in your mouth. Don't ask me how I know. Now stock trout fishing mistake number five is sleeping in. And yeah, you might think this one's a little bit funny or you're like, yeah, you wanna get on that early bite, it makes sense. It absolutely makes sense. A lot of times, if guys are sleeping in, they're missing the best bite of the day. So if you're one of those anglers and you're like, ah, I'm gonna sleep in, I'm gonna get to the lake at like 10 o'clock, I'm gonna take my time. Dude, you're missing a lot of the fish. So here's my advice, don't sleep in. Get up early, get on some fish, then go back to the cabin and sleep in. That's how you should do it. Now mistake number four is one that I used to make a lot and that is fishing too deep. And yes, there is something to fishing too deep whether you're trolling or you're bank fishing because trout love to be in shallow waters or they're gonna have to be in shallow waters in little creeks, little streams, rivers, maybe small ponds that aren't that deep. They're going to be up shallow whether it's early part of the morning or then maybe they go into a little bit deeper water but if the pond's only six feet deep, they're staying shallow in pretty low water. So so don't be afraid to fish shallow and you might come across some really good success. Now mistake number three is fishing the same spot over and over and over again. Now there is something to going back to the well or the same spot multiple times and you might have some success but if you think that you're going to go back to the same spot over and over and over again and generate that same success let me tell you that ain't gonna happen. Too often I see anglers especially bank guys that I've recognized from maybe prior trips and very public areas or people that I see out there they're fishing the same spot over and over again and yeah they might have a little bit of success but when their success runs out there's no fish they're not catching any fish because they're not being adaptive they're not trying new places and they're making a lot of simple mistakes including just fishing the same exact spot because water conditions weather conditions the fish move around they don't stay in that same spot once they've been stocked they spread out they move out of areas so places that may have been productive they're going to stop being productive at some point so if you think you're going to go back to the well and fish the same spot over and over and go over again and have success, let me tell you, you're making a huge mistake. 
Now, mistake number two is something I see all the time. And yes, I have been guilty of this too at times, and that is having too much bait on the hook. Yes, you want to catch big fish, and big fish means you sometimes have to have really big baits. But you can't make a mistake of having too much bait on there where the bait isn't fishing properly, or the trout suck it right off your hook like a big glob of power bait, and it's not on there well. They'll suck it off there and not get themselves hooked, and you'll keep losing your bait you know why am i not catching these fish i've got big baits it's on there what's going on well it might be that you actually got too much so be very conscious of the bait size and presentation that you're giving to the trout because too big you could have some issues and so start sizing down and find that right bait size and then you're going to land on them once you figure out the pattern now that we've gone through mistakes 10 through 2, well, what's mistake number 1? Well, that is getting away and forgetting the basics of trout fishing. Trout love all kinds of baits, and if you're worried and overthinking it, that can be problematic. Just go back to the basics, just chuck something out there, and sometimes that's just the best way to approach. Have fun when it comes to stock trout fishing. This ain't no competition. We're not playing and fishing for money. Just Go with the basics, go out there and have some fun and enjoy some really good fishing action. And there you guys have it, 10 stock trout fishing mistakes that you should definitely avoid the next time you go out and chase some stock trout. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. And as always, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.